G'day guys, Josh here. We're there. Episode 18, Extended, Financial Fruits, The Loser Economy, etc. Now, obviously this is going to be no financial advice involved. Obviously, disclaimer that, you know, I don't take consideration of uh, your personal circumstances and yada, yada, yada. This is all for illustration only. And I just really want to highlight this given the fact that atriox drama that has come down with the deep fake porn and stuff like that. I don't want to go down to the details of how fucked up it is because we are going, well, I've already sworn in the YouTube video. Well, there's no key getting monetized anyway because I don't have 1k subs. But I really want to talk about like why it's a part of the loser economy. Why is porn a part of the loser economy? And you'll be like, I mean, how does porn fix it into it? Like, you know, porn, it's, you know, you can get it for free from some sites. Like, why is it a part of the loser economy? Like, what is it? Like, what it doesn't do to impact us? Well, porn, first of all, um, it has a quite a large impact from various journalists of what it does. So what it does is uh, porn, funnily enough, it, you know, if you're addicted to it, like it, it's a, it, it is an addictive, uh, it is an addictive vice, okay? Um, and this is the kind of the worst part of the vice of porn in general. And this is why the atriox thing is very, very huge, okay? Because the lust for porn can never really be sated once you're addicted. Because your imagination runs wild and you get into all kinds of weird stuff, okay? And trust me, okay? And trust me, okay, on this. Well, not me, but, you know, in general, people with porn addiction and stuff like that, it gets seriously, seriously messed up. Like, you know, I don't know if you would check, check, check about the step bro kind of being stuff like that. It gets into that and it gets much, much worse. You know, you think, oh, it's just normal looking at women's boobs and stuff like that, stuff like that. It gets much, much worse. This is why it's a very, very bad vice, okay? So what happens with the uh, porn industry overall is that the reason why it's a loser economy is that only one side wins and you can't possibly win no matter how much porn videos you watch or whatever you do in there as well. You actually don't win, okay? You, you, can, you cannot actually win at all because at the end of the day, um, like alcohol and other vices similar to alcohol, is that it's a great servant but a poor master. The term is that from Inspector Morse, meaning that it's great in small doses, but it's absolutely horrible when it runs your life, okay? Because it basically ruins everything. So let's go for example. So we talk about systems isolation, okay? When you're addicted in general, you only focus on one thing, okay? Now with porn, the only focus on that is to see more porn. Now, this does a lot of things, and we can talk about the Atriox stuff now, is that let's just say the deep fake stuff, okay? Where they put actual people's heads or whatever on bodies without their consent, okay? That is the deep end, deep, deep, deep end, okay? It gets really messed up of where a porn addiction can lead you because as, as I said before, the lust is never sated. And these people spend all their time trying to get a dopamine fix from getting off, okay? And it's a serious addiction, like it's a serious addiction. A lot of streamers, any Fatuce in particular, uh, has um, posted articles about it and posted documentary about it, but these people who had absolute debilitating addictions to porn, where like they couldn't function in society, they were awkward around women, and um, pretty much it's quite serious. And they had like memory fog and stuff like that. So let's go for the first one. So let's go for the physical stuff it does to you, okay? Uh, nothing ever satisfies you, okay? Nothing ever satisfies you. Like, you know, basically the normal instinct of talking to people and stuff like that, you view them as an object, okay? Rather than a person. Because, you know, you, you, you're used to seeing, you know, obviously sexual acts and stuff like that from porn, where you think that's the norm. And that's messed up. That's messed up, okay? Now, I don't have to tell anyone in the, you know, audience like that, that's fucked up, okay? That's completely messed up. You know, it's a way of thinking. It's a bad type of thinking. It's known as, uh, what is it, when you objectify people, it's like, kind of like a transactional uh, transactional process where, you know, what are we going to say? No, I guess it's not transactional, I suppose, where it's, um, 
I guess there's a transactional process where a person is only X few. Okay, that's kind of thing, okay? Where that person will only be always be X few and stuff like that. They won't be anything more than X. Essentially, it's like pinning down the person basically, which is not a good thing. Not a good thing for you either, actually. And also not to mention as well as memory fog is another one where you don't remember things. Then there's fatigue from too many dop dopamine hits. And uh, basically anytime you get bored and get the urge, you're basically doing it. What if someone walks in on you? You know, embarrassment. If someone finds out and, you know, embarrassment indeed. And when poor Atrioc, you know, I had to ba basically admit to his girlfriend, oh yeah, you know, I've date deep fakes of some of my friends on uh, this porn site. It's like, what the flip? Like, that is not good. And that is like, grossly disgusting and immoral okay apps like you know that's unbelievable okay unbelievable and that's just the physical aspects okay physical and mental aspects all together like you know actual feelings that you feel and it gets a lot worse i mean the uh thing is is that since you lust for more and more you spend more of your time on it okay so instead of you know going out and learning more you're you're just the guy with the hand on the dick Okay, and you're not doing anything to accomplish it. So therefore, like, you don't, you don't feel motivated to pursue something, okay? And that's really, really bad because most things in life, whether it's money or a vision, most people have a vision Of what they want to achieve so you can see how like how debilitating this sort of addiction is and this, we haven't even got to money yet okay we haven't got to money yet okay worst part about porn is porn is mostly free but there are paid sites and uh, paid sites and there's sex work as well involved um you you can see a variety of sites like you know only fans and stuff like that where some people put uh, promote loot content on there as well and if you're addicted to that Oh, well, that, you know, you're going to fly through money, okay? Very, very quickly, okay? And that's why people were very hesitant about entering the industry in the first place. And also at the same time, that's why the industry is so ludicrous in the first... Ludicrous, not ludicrous, sorry. Luxurious in the first place for women in general, maybe, and maybe some guys. Is that the primal instinct in men and in women too is sometimes to satisfy, satisfy their fantasies. Okay? And they feel good about it. Now, the thing is, they put no work into getting that fantasy. Therefore, they are not motivated to do much more. If you get my concept here. So, like, they, they go search on a computer and that's it. Done. They've got their fantasy. They've got their feel goodies and stuff like that. Now, if they're paying for it as well, not to mention you see their credit card, their money situation go down. Not to mention as well, the addiction, you know, impacts time, impacts work, I mean, the memory fog, um, impacts issues with coworkers and stuff like that. When you're just like thinking about porn rather than like, you know, addressing work, it really takes over your life. And this is where these systems isolate, okay? So basically everything in your life gets disconnected or just reverted back to porn which are like most addictions in general, okay? This is not unique to porn. Gambling does the same thing. Uh, smoking does this. Smoking has a similar thing as well. Well, smoking is a different sort of mindset where you still can maintain a connections, but everything comes back to it kind of thing. I guess I'm a bit wrong on that one. You know, porn, gambling, and alcohol all come back to the same thing over and over and over again, where it's just everything comes back to this. The only thing you can rely on is this and stuff like that. It's always there for you and stuff like that. And that's what it becomes down to. You, you figure you figure this out already, guys. It's it's it is similar to a cult kind of thing. Okay, similar to it where the only place that feels you know the only area that feels like you belong is the one that is draining you, which is. You see that they're going like, 
holy crap yeah you know porn draining you mentally money coming out maybe as well if you're not getting for free or anything like that gambling just draining your money and your social connections out of you as well you're basically conning people i mean slick is another example of it as well alcohol basically you smell of alcohol don't get to work miss things and stuff like that being all drunk all the time and stuff like that these are seriously deployed addictions and that's why it's part of the loser economy is because porn impacts you physically and mentally not to mention as well sometimes your dick don't even work if you're a guy and vice versa if you're a woman if you're if you're addicted to porn it's a crazy crazy addiction now everyone may be thinking oh are you saying that atrioc is a victim at all this and stuff like that no i think he's this is where the depravity of society goes when you get so deep into that porn addiction it is you go into completely deeply immoral areas okay like you go into deeply immoral areas you go beyond the normal man and woman men and men woman and woman kind of thing and you go into some depraved mindset where you're viewing your friends and stuff like that in sexual nature okay you're going way beyond that you're you're in a in a deep dark depravity state that is horrible okay that is grossly immoral horrible and bad and you need to get help and you need to mend uh, bridges and fences of that as well because it's bad horrible i don't have to say I, like I, do i have to explain why it's not immoral first of all you're photoshopping your mates as sexual objects that's fucked up okay they're more than just that secondly uh without their consent as well they're acting like they're sexual objects you know some people have compared it to rape okay i would say it's getting closer the lines are blurring but i'd say it's not fair but it's fucked up it's still fucked up and this is where a porn addiction will lead you into a dark depraved state what you want to do is if you're going down that road you want to catch yourself and be like hey stop this is going to lead you down to something messed up you're going to get yourself into some serious trouble whether it be financial with the law or with people that you know and connect to okay so pretty much it is a loser big part of the loser economy it's one of the big three vices they call it porn alcohol and gambling they're the big three vices that are big parts of the loser economy because they isolate you from the other systems and they drain your money they drain your time and drain you physically and mentally so thank you for watching my video i thought i'd get this one out there as well as part of the loser economy because i didn't really explain it into great detail but you can see here how porn can basically lock you away and isolate you from other systems and basically start draining your money and you're essentially potentially you know essentially reliant on it and you just basically slowly disconnect yourself from everyone else until you're lonely and then you get into the darker and darker and darker depths because your lust is never sated and you you don't have anything to turn to or get out of it because you've basically cut off from everywhere else and it's a it's a sad sad state of affairs but at the end of the day, it's your own fault for doing it. And you need to catch yourself to get yourself out of it. And you need to seek some help as well. If you're in that deep, deep dark hole that Aatrox is into. Because that's messed up. And should not be tolerated by any stretch of imagination. And it, it just leaves me fearing on you know what sort of people and what sort of scumbags are going to market this as a commercial kind of thing. Okay? As guys, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like it, well, leave a comment below why you didn't like it. But I'm probably going to make this into more of a three-part series where I go talk about porn addiction, uh, porn addiction, alcohol addiction, and gambling addictions, where why they are such isolating systems and why they're part of the lose economy, which has helped to design you to lose.